Hi, I'm Andrea, and we're here today to run down five of our favorite stories from 2017 in science. And I'm here with Sonia. Sonia, what's up? You look so depressed. Well, Andrea, this year has just been really busy, and I'm feeling all of the feelings. It's understandable, and I have a story for you. It's the first one that we're covering today. It's out too much emotional intelligence can actually be a bad thing. It's sort of the dark side of empathy. So when you take on the stress of others as such an empathetic person, it can also bring your own mood down and make you more prone to depression and anxiety. So just remember that you're not responsible for other people's feelings and you can feel yours and they can feel theirs and I think you'll feel better. I feel better already. Well, let's move on to one of the most popular stories from 2017. Andrea. Have you ever noticed that when you present people with facts that are contrary to their deepest held beliefs, they tend to change their minds? Uh, Me neither. One of our most popular stories was how to convince someone when facts fail. Michael Shermer offers six strategies to reduce unnecessary divisiveness. Awesome. That's going to help with some family gatherings, I think. Yeah. One of our most important stories of 2017 was by Melinda Moyer. She went down to her home state of Georgia to talk to some gun owners and see how the, they feel about gun ownership. And she presented the data from some groundbreaking studies that show that more guns leads to more violence, more homicide, as opposed to making people safe, which a lot of people believe. So I think that uh, was one of our most important articles of the year and uh, played well with all the news that was going on. We had some really controversial stories this year, didn't we? We did, and I think the one that seemed to stir up the most conversation in our comment section was when our editor, Annie Sneed, tried to cook up some antibiotic-resistant E. coli in her kitchen. Annie talked to a lot of experts on whether or not having this ability to biohack in your own home is a threat to society. Yeah, and a lot of people were debating whether that was problematic or not. And of course, we wanted to weigh in with our favorite story, too. So here's our editor's pick. I think we have to agree that the great solar eclipse of 2017 was the most important story uh, in science this year. And it was so cool, the first time in 99 years that an eclipse, a full solar eclipse happened to this country, traveling from coast to coast. And we all got to escape the office. I know you did. Yeah. And I certainly did and come together to witness a really cool and rare occurrence. And scientists in this country also got a chance to study the sun under unusual circumstances as well. They could look at the corona around the sun, study the sun's chemistry, some Einsteinian relativity. Yeah, definitely a great moment that I think brought the country together. And it will be happening again soon in 2024. And if you want to figure out where and how to do it safely, just check out the special report on our website. To read these stories, check the links below. And for more of the best science stories of 2017, you can read Andrea's story with a roundup of our coverage this year. That's right. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching. We need like one of those, um, we need like a boomerang video of us. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.